And joining us now is Brenda Jensen. She's a PhD, uh, acting senior vice president and provost, and professor of biology wow. along, well, wait, that's all her. Yeah, Just to let yeah. you know, okay? She's that's smart. Title. I'll call my lady right now. <laughs> and we have David Horgan. He is our PhD professor of chemistry. So great to have you both here. Thank you so much for being here. Thank, Thank you. You, you know, um, we actually worked for many, many years right along Fort Street Mall where the campus for Hawaii Pacific University was coming up. And yeah. then you folks took over Aloha Tar Marketplace to expand the campus. And I think that's just brilliant. So yeah. congratulations on the grand so opening. Much. This is a massive facility here um, with four floors. Can you tell us a little bit about the types of research and, and work that you folks are going to be conducting there. Yes, well, we are so excited that this is our new focal point for our both our research and teaching at HPU. And so this building is really specialized to be housing all flavors of biology and chemistry. And so it really is, um, it, it's designed to be able to be you know, the highest safety standards and, and a lot of flow between the, the teaching and the research. And so as a focal point, it, it complements what else we have going on the campus, which is just a short distance away is our waterfront science complex, which has the engineering and computer science and physics. And then, of course, we have the Makapu'u campus, which is our marine science campus. And then, of course, our research vessel and teaching vessel in Kaneohe Bay. Wow, you guys are, I, I love the fact that you guys are everywhere, giving our, our Koma'ena and even our Malahini that come for school from the continent or around the world, a lot of uh, spaces to learn. And as Lena Girl mentioned, I know um, from the top of Fort Street Mall all the way down now to the Aloha Tower Marketplace, just impressive. Now, why is it important for students to conduct this kind of research and what is unique about this new HPU facility? Yeah. There's a couple things that are unique, but one of the things that we do with undergraduate students is we, we get them to use our high-tech research instruments as part of the instructional lab. So uh, we spend, we, we try to, instead of keeping undergraduate students away from the high-tech expensive research instruments, we want them to get their hands on, nice. learn how to use them, and then it, it gets them excited about science. And our research really uh, puts the undergraduate students uh, central to conducting the research. And so we have students from freshmen to, to seniors that are participating in the creation of new knowledge, doing our, you know, the vast majority of our research is done by undergraduate students. I love it, you know, and I tend to think that Hawaii is a very special place, not only because I'm born and raised here, but because as an isolated place here, there's just so much different flora, fauna that happens here in the islands. And the fact that you folks are here with this top-notch research facility just kind of adds, again, like what we said earlier, that commitment, right? Um, can you tell us about some of the great academic programs that you folks are offering with this new research facility in place? Would love to. We have our biology degrees, and so we have different flavors of biology, as I mentioned. So we've got both the environmental science, so we've got conservation, ecology, and evolution. We've got the uh, environmental science, environmental studies. We've also got biology, human health sciences, and so chemistry, biochemistry, all of those, all of those opportunities are, are in that building. Uh, but it also is going to be the home for some specialized programs such as biotechnology engineering that will need some of those specialized facilities. Can you expand on that a little bit? Biotechnology yeah. engineering? Uh, sure, <laughs> it is basically thinking about uh, biotechnology, so molecular biology and some of the small bits that we're thinking about with, with biology, so microbiology and really tiny things, but also bringing things to the market, so like solving a problem. So biotechnology en engineering is using all the great biology uh, and technology that we know of and then actually applying it to solving problems and wow. possibly going into biomedical. That is exciting. Applications. Wow. And you know, HPU uh, already has a great medical program as it is. So just the fact that you folks are gonna be able to lock arms and collaborate with the other great programs that you guys already have in place, that is exciting. I'm super excited about it. I mean, I wanna come check it out, but you know, <laughs> I don't think I'm qualified. <laughs> wait, please wait do. a minute. Yeah, do, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Applications Anytime. always open, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we thank you guys so much uh, for joining us on the show. and really uh, bringing some attention to this amazing 20,000 square foot facility. Um, exciting. If people want to get more information, where can they go? Oh, hpu.edu, of course. Nice. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much.